question for you. What are you munching on before bedtime? And did you know it could be impacting the way you sleep? Here with tips on foods that can help you get a better night's rest is Trudy Stone. <laughs> Trudy! Okay, we all know that we want to sort of go straight to the, the sugar cupboard um, yes. at bedtime. You're snacking, you're watching The Bachelor, you're feeling <laughs> like, you know, I just want a little guilty pleasure. It's not the way to go. No, all of those things, Tracy, the ice cream, the candy, the cookies might be calling your name before bed. For yeah. me personally, it's the cookies. Yeah. But I want to encourage you to reach for bananas instead as your oh, bedtime like bananas. snack. bananas. Right? Yeah. So bananas contain muscle relaxing nutrients like potassium mm. as well as magnesium. But very important, I want you to pair those bananas with something like a healthy fat. So some almonds, for example. Yeah. Because this is going to help to stabilize your blood sugar before your head hits the pillow. Okay. Well, okay. I will eat with almonds by like the handful. Oh, they're so I easy love to. Them. Yeah. I just get lost in there. Absolutely. <laughs> but at least it's a good fat. Right. 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 And then we have nuts and seeds, Tracy. So yep. we have nuts and seeds. Um, these are all really great sources of sleep-inducing melatonin. Okay. And in fact, pistachios are a great source of that stress-busting mineral magnesium. Okay. Yes. So a lot of us know magnesium is important for being a natural remedy for stress, but it's also really important for helping to increase levels of melatonin in our body. Right. So if you are somebody who is like one of those middle of the night insomniacs, anybody like that waking up frequently throughout the night? Oh, absolutely. If that is you, you want yes. to munch on some ma magnesium rich foods before you go to bed, like some pistachios. Okay. Because we know a lot of people get that through, through supplements. Get it through your food, yes. food as well, yes. right? Absolutely. Okay. We're moving on from nuts. Yes. So we're moving to kiwis. So that's beautiful, and I would have them all the time if someone cut them like that for me. That's so gorgeous. Why is kiwi good? Okay, so kiwis, we don't normally think about this as a bedtime snack. No. However, kiwis are packed with lots of antioxidants as well as fiber, which a lot of people are deficient in. I'm going to get back to that in a minute. Okay. But kiwis are also a really great source of serotonin, and that helps okay. to establish a regular sleep pattern. It may actually help you to fall asleep more quickly as well. Good. Raspberries yes. as well is not something that would have been high on my list of bedtime no, snacks. No, but they're actually a really great source of fiber. Again, okay. a lot of people are deficient in fiber. And when we think about fiber, we think about it as something that helps us to keep us regular, and it does. Yeah. But it's also important for sleep as well. Yeah. So there's some studies that show that people that are fiber deprived or you know, deficient in fiber, they don't have as much of that restorative night's sleep, right? Okay. Versus people who have more fiber in their diet. Got so definitely it. add those fiber-rich fruits. Listen, if it's about sleep, you you can say less. I would do anything <laughs> to have a good night's sleep. I think sleep Me is too. so important. It is. It is. And I know people love their tea. Tea, Folks Tracy. Folks love their tea before bed. Are you a tea girl? I am such a tea girl. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know about you, Tracy, but I need to have that hot cup of tea before I go to bed. You know, yeah. some of my favorites are valerian. I also really like lavender tea as well and chamomile. But nice. I would have to say, I would think lavender is my favorite. And yeah. here's some beautiful lavender flowers. Aren't these gorgeous? That's beautiful. Uh, the great thing about lavender is that it also promotes muscle relaxation as well. Mm -hmm. And there's some studies that show that it may help you to have a more restful night's sleep. Okay, good yeah. stuff. So have that tea, and I know you say it's the tea that makes you sleepy, but it's also the ritual of yes, it. Yes, yeah. And I think that that's part of good sleep hygiene. Oh, absolutely. Have your ritual, put yes. on your sleep socks, read your book, do your tea, yes. and then it's like you're telling your brain it's almost sleep time. Absolutely. Okay, what have we got next All to right. put us to sleep? Yes, so put us to sleep. So I know a lot of people like to have that glass of wine right before you hit the pillow, yeah. but that might not necessarily be a great idea. Yeah. The reason why is because alcohol metabolizes really quickly in your body. So that means that you might be more likely to wake up throughout the night. Mm -hmm. So instead, I want you to reach for this adrenal cocktail to kind of soothe your nerves before you go to bed. Okay, so you're giving us another cocktail? I'm giving you a cocktail, but okay. it's actually a mocktail. But cocktail sounds more fun, right? Let's just call it a <laughs> cocktail. Wine does the exact opposite of what it should be for, for me, too. Like, I cannot do it before bed. Yes. It'll be the worst sleep ever. So what have we got? What are we going to drink? Okay, so I'm going to first start by squeezing some oranges. Okay. Now, your adrenal glands are hormonal glands that sit on top of your kidneys, okay? Okay. So their role is to help you to, of course, cope with stress, but also helps with other bodily functions like your metabolism, your immune health as well. Okay. So this adrenal cocktail is going to help to bring all of that into balance so you have a more restful night's sleep. Nice. And there's three vital nutrients in this cocktail. So the first is vitamin C. And we're going to get that vitamin C from some freshly squeezed orange juice. So I'm going to use about half a cup of that. Okay. Now, a lot of people know that vitamin C is really important for immune health, mm -hmm. but it's also important for stress management as well because your adrenal glands that help you to cope with those stress hormones, they need that vitamin C. They rely on that vitamin C to help you to be able to cope with stress. Got it. So that's thing number one. Okay. Um, we also want to add in some potassium, which we're going to get from some coconut water. Oh. Some I'm like, in. is that banana juice? <laughs> Every time I think potassium, 
potassium. I always think bananas, but yeah. it, there's so much potassium in a lot of different food sources. Exactly. Yeah. And then we're going to also add some um, coconut milk as well. So I'm going to oh, add nice. like a couple of teaspoons of that. And this is optional. You don't have to add this in, but I just like to add it in because it just makes your drink taste a little bit more like creamier, yeah, velvety, yeah, yeah. and I love like a nice velvety drink. Good. We're gonna well, especially add. if you mix that up. Okay, yes. what's that now? So next is some raw honey. So I'm going to put this oh, in there. Nice. And this is just for sweetness. You can omit this again if you want to as well. But just nice raw honey for some sweetness. So Lovely. the other nutrient in our tree of nutrients to balance our hormones is going to be some Himalayan sea salt. And then I'm going to add some collagen powder for some protein and also Ooh. that helps with skin health as well. This is a power cocktail. This is a power cocktail. So I'm just going to pop this lid on. Hopefully I can get it on this time. Last time I couldn't. <laughs> And then I'm just going to blend it up. So all you got to do is just blend this there up you go. for about like 30 seconds. Yep. Some people, Trudy, might think that this kind of fruit is going to bump up your blood sugar because of the sweetness of it. Why yeah. is it okay to have fruit like this late at night? You know, a lot of people think that. And I say, like, don't be afraid to have, you know, some regular, you know, just fruits to get your... I'm oh, sorry, just to have some like fruits to actually get that, you know, fruit juice in there. Yeah. Like a lot of people are afraid of fruit juice, but you don't need to be afraid of it, okay? Yeah. Because it's natural sugars. And if you're pairing it with something like this, like a coconut milk that has a healthy fat, that that's good. really going to help as well. So Very give good. that a try, Tracy. It tastes kind of like a creamsicle. Let's, oh, okay. Yeah. Nighty night. Yeah. <laughs> that is good because I'm not necessarily a hot tea drinker at night. I love it. Find yeah. this recipe at CityLine.tv. Trudy, thank you.